What's up guys, Gums here and welcome back to Pro Summer 2022 for the episode number 6 of our Summer Mode Career Mode. Today's episode is a big one because we have the national championships. It's always uh, a fun race or fun races to play. Uh, we'll be able to see whether we'll have a lot of new jerseys for the upcoming season or not. I mean, we will have new jerseys. That's, um, that's a Guillaume guarantee. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna see those races and then probably if it's to I track about it's like I don't uh, maybe move to Utah and uh, Burgos and Arctic Race of Norway so the next episode can be the World Cup sounds like a plan to you yeah then let's go and the first championship of the day takes us to Lithuania for a minus five with Konovalovas good well I guess see you on the finish line because there's nothing I'm gonna do today and uh, congratulations Aivaras Mikutis who takes the national championship of Lithuania couldn't do anything. Second time trial today and probably another loss and by probably I mean definitely another loss. Uh, Lenny Martinez, 63 time trial today. Let's not kid ourselves, it's not happening. Uh, yeah, so Lenny lost 4 minutes 17 on Valentin Madoas who's currently leading but probably won't win. And the new French time trial champion is Thibaut Garnalek for Arka Samzek. It's our first chance at a title. Just like last season, uh, we could open up our account with a win in Canada, Hugo Hull is here, so is last year's winner, Pierre-André Côté. I mean, come on. Right, Hugo has not had the, as good a season as he had last year, despite winning down under. So they could launch that season. And with Hugo Hull starting in a few seconds, every Warder is now on the road. Currently leading in Wilkesboro is Adam DeVos, ahead of Nikola Zhukovsky and James Piccoli. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Pierre-André Côté is the fastest at the intermediate time. There he is, indeed. I mean, he's going for... W was he last year's winner? Or was David Gould? I think it was Riley... No. Riley Pickle on road. I think Pierre-André Côté was the time troll champion last year, right? Or maybe you go. I'd be All I know is that it was in my team. It's going to stay that way. And if not, I'll assign Derek G if he's the one that wins it. Pierre-André Côté moves into a virtual leading position ahead of Adam DeVos, destroying the time of, uh, of his teammate. But for now, Hugo first at the and also he's catching Derek G quite nicely. Final kilometer for Hugo Hull. Will he take the lead ahead of Pierre-André Côté? Let's take a quick look. 23 seconds, Hugo Hull is your new Canadian time trial champion. Second chance. Last year, I believe Mauro Schmidt had won this. I think it's Mauro Schmidt that won it, because I know I lost the road race and I don't think Bissega had a jersey. Um, so, oh god, no, he fought, that's a lot. Um, but yeah. Again, we're going to try and retain the jersey, whether it's with Mauro, whether it's Bishega. I don't care, as long as it's in the team. Mauro Schmidt is going to move into a deep original leading position, 50 seconds quicker than Joel Suter, and I guess he's going to have to wait until Bissega or Stefan Kung to, uh, to take his place. 81 time trials today for, uh, for Bissega, 82 for Kung. Yeah, Tombol is not going to do anything, neither will um, Claudio Himov. Again, it's the battle of the Stefans. I'm hoping that the uh, hilly terrain suits Mauro more than it suits me. Um, or oh, mainly Kung. First intermediate, we are 6 seconds quicker than Tom Bully. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, hmm. Kung, fuck me. Kung is already 25 seconds quicker than Mauro Schmidt. Second intermediate, and Bissega leads Claudio. Sorry, leads Tom Bully as well. Uh, is Mauro Schmidt gonna like lose a lot? Oh shit, Mauro Schmidt is like done. Ah, I see. All right. Uh, well, I mean, Kung is gonna win today, so I'm gonna lose the, the time trial championship. I need to win the road one. It's a three second lead for Tom Bolin Satini. Bissega is gonna change that. Only eleven seconds quicker. And Stefan Kung, who lost the ECs to Bissega. Absolutely obliterates me. One minute quicker for Stefan Kung. I guess I have to sign him. The roads in Willoughsboro had, uh, well, give, gave us success through, uh, through Hugo Hull in Canada. Hopefully they can do the same with Brandon McNulty in the USA because it's the same parkour. So, yeah, Mondo Boys. Uh, the second intermediate. McNulty takes the lead ahead of Will Barton, Matteo Jorgensen. Uh, Magnus Shettle seems out of contention for the title. It's a battle between the two movie star riders. Lawson Craddock just got overtaken. That's sad. 
Uh, so the two Movistar Riders fighting against a Seven Rider. Interesting, interesting. I mean, my sponsor has seen the result in Switzerland and he's not happy, but if there's good results in the USA, maybe things could change. Maybe uh, the orientation of the team could change. 56.07 is the time to beat for Brandon McNulty. 56.06 for one second. Brandon McNulty is the new American time travel champion. Moving on to the road stages. Um, well, I mean, I lost the time travel championship, so I need to win the road one. Bissega going straight for the breakaway. All right, I'm not beating around the bush. Love this expression. We're going for, for the break. And you know what? We're going to send Joel a suit there as well. Again, not here to, 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 to like, I, I don't know. I think, like, there's a lot of expressions I could use right now. But we're going for the win. And the race is finally going. Um, we've got 26k to go. They've allowed Stefan King to attack with Mark Hershey. I don't know why. Uh, I thought that the peloton would at least try to chase him down. They're not. Uh, but up front, we're still in a good group with Bessega and with our plus five today. I'm confident. Also, Gino Meda is somehow in his group. Tragic for Berger, for uh, Astana who just crashed. He was in the leading group. A leading group of 10 riders with Stefan Bessega at the helm of it. Claudio Imhoff in the wheel. Reto Lindenstein, Tom Schier, uh, I think Lucas Rug. We're going to use the gel very shortly. Uh, is that an attack? I think Rug is definitely going for an attack. Rug or Rue. I don't know, maybe Rug. I think Rug is better. Uh, oh, Bissega even created a bit of a gap with Claudio Imhoff here. Peloton is not going to come back. Uh, neither will Mark Hershey. I'll launch the sprint. I'm confident in my abilities. Uh, Gino Meta is far down. Uh, oh, God. Hold up. Let me follow you, Mr. Rug. No, oh, get blocked. Uh, as you wish. Nope, we're going to follow him. Come on. Let's win this. Let's win the Swiss. National Championships. There goes Bessega against Meda, Didier, Imhoff. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a three-way fight. Inside line for Bessega. Can he hold on? It's going to be close, but I think he can. Bessega is the new Swiss champion. Runner-up on the time trial, he gets the road race. US road race. Uh, I'm quite scared. First of this jersey, who are you? Wildlife Generation. Bro, what is this? Why in, in the EDM Tomorrowland Festival is this? Um, but yeah, the thing that scares me is that this race is always won by the breakaway. And I think the group of six that just attacked has the new American champion within it. So my only chance is to attack with Brandon, but usually the peloton chases me down. Although today it looks like Quinn Simmons and Magnus Sheffield are the only one working. Oh, come on, I bridged the breakaway and none of them are relaying me. Are oh, you all pricks? I absolutely despise every single one of these riders. You had a chance, like, no one was gonna chase you down. I have to say, I'm not used to this race scenario uh, because we may actually catch the breakaway. And I did not think that would happen. Uh, we've got Kevin Vermarker just up the road and then 1.30 in the lead is the break. No, don't block me, don't block me. Who are you? Gregory Daniel. Yeah, stay. I liked you when you were a trek rider. I don't like you if you block me. A uh, bit of an attack here from Brandon McNulty trying to bridge to uh, Matt Jorgensen. Nice. Uh, who's up the road then? Duel, Burke, and Rory McElroy. Gotcha. I don't think I'm gonna cap them. Four kilometers left. Matt Jorgensen is leading the break towards El Jebel. Sepkos has a time go. Oh, yes, Sepkos exists. I forgot about him. Uh, but 3k to go. Jorgensen has already started his effort. That is far from the line. Burke, Jewel, and McElroy cannot carry on. It's going to be Movistar or Cervelo McNulty for the time trial and road race. There goes Brandon. I've misclicked. But there goes Brandon McNulty, American champion. Woo! Come on. We're in France for the uh, French Championships. Lenny Martinez has a chance. It's going to be difficult to win. My issue today with him, uh, first there's no Julien Laphilippe, which, uh, thank God for that. Uh, but no, my issue is that he's got 61 sprint, well, I guess with today 62 sprint and 69 acceleration. Um, sure, that's a nice number. But that's just not good enough. 
I usually don't cover crashes, but there's been a crash involving Thibaut Pinot, David Gaudu, Romain Baradet, Guillaume, uh, Guillaume Martin, Valentin Madouas, and Christophe Laporte, who just withdrew from the race. And I swear, I said that uh, Lenny would lack acceleration. There was an attack by this group, and I'm pretty much convinced that this group is going to win. And I would have loved to follow it. Sadly, Lenny couldn't. And Lenny's most likely going to be chasing for the rest of his, of his life right now. I was actually, I went to get water and I got dropped. All right, good. End of the French Championships first. I hate this game. I told Lenny to just, like, go automatic. Look at where he is. He's there, and the leading group is right here. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I could have, I could have potentially won had I not gotten for water. Are you mad? Benjamin Thomas, the new French champion. Yes, he is. He holds on for Ancinechal and Pierre Latour. Uh, Lenny's going to come home for a P10. I think because Russo's going to take him. Yeah, P10 for his first championships. We're in Lithuania, and I've missed the first two kilometers of the national championships. I'm already two minutes down. All right, Sukas and Sakunas. How about you wait for Konovalovas? And the peloton is going to catch us. Psych, they still have one more lap to do because they're 36 minutes down. At this point, just give up. Like this, you're not fighting for a medal or a jersey. You're, you're fighting for P4 in the Lithuanian Championship, a lap behind. Hey, I'm not even fighting for P4. You're fighting to stay within the time limits. But we're going to have a sprint on our hands, um, a th sprint of three riders, Sakunas and, uh, is it Shuk oh, it's probably Shakunas and Shukas have attacked. Uh, the more they attacked, the better for me, because it allows me to just uh, keep my energy and try to attack. Now there goes Konovaloas, and they, they do follow, right? Oh, Shukas, no, is that Shakunas? Shakunas? Yeah, no, he follows, he still follows. And by the way, the sprint is launched. Oh, come on. This is going to be a big one. No one is fast in this group. I'm going to try and take the uh, advantage here. Konovalovas, Shakunas, Shukas. Come on, hold it. Konovalovas versus Shukas. Ignatas. Konovalovas is Lithuanian champion. On his final season. Get in. I've waited like seven minutes for this race to load. Uh, so I better win it. I genuinely better win it. And we have our breakaway, most likely the winning one. Pierre-André Coté, Riley Pickroll, Myers Leonard are a part of it. And then there's Jack Burke, who's got a stat above 70. That's about it. We're in the final lap of these Canadian Championships. And by final laps, I also mean the final five kilometers. The peloton is only 39 minutes away, so they could potentially come back. Uh, but in the, the chance that they didn't, we have a sprint on our hands. M Mikel Lennart with Riley Pickroll and Pierre-André Coté. Come on. Come on, we can we, we, we should win this. We we definitely should win this. We've got the two best sprinters of Canada and they're both in the breakaway. Riley Pickle, last year's winner, is going to launch Pierre André Côté là. A kilomètre. Pierre André Côté takes the win. And he is your new Canadian champion. Well we're on the tour of Utah, but it appears that God has a has, I don't know. Bless this race, bro. What? Where? Nah, where? Where is he, bro? How? Look at it. Nah, you don't see him. You see him? No. Yes. No. What's going on? We're watching the first sprints of this tour of Utah. Uh, also, God left. I think he took a look at our lineup and he was like, "No, no, no. I did not create humanity for this." Uh, with all due respect to Rafael Parizelam, uh, Mikel Enar, and Nicolas Rivar. They're not exactly the best supporting cast I could have gone for, um, but that, I'm playing the Tour of Utah just to like get a few points. But I don't want to put my big riders on there because I'd rather have them on Burgos or Norway for the Vuelta prep. Uh, but yeah, we've got a sprint coming up. Mr. Leonard is destroying Rivar. That's exactly what I wanted to see. There goes Mr. Rivar. In the wheel is Hugo Hull. An injured Hugo Hull, but still... Hugo will nonetheless, and a Hugo will nonetheless, well, he gets the win. That's what he does. Round number two in Utah, uh, approaching the finishing town of uh, Torrey. We do have an attack though. Uh, that is Miguel for uh, Kian Farmer, who's just decided to attack. I mean, fair play to him, fair, fair play to the lad. Uh, it's, it's nice to see people thinking, uh, taking their, their chances. Sadly, Miguel will not win today. 
It is going to be a sprint. Um, I don't know if there's any sprinters on this race, if I'm honest, because yesterday it's Arieta that got second and Wackman third. But we'll take a look. There goes Fabio Christen. And Hugo is already in a no man's land. Oh, Van Uden is a sprinter, right? Yeah, 76 sprints for Van Uden. Sadly, it's, I mean, it's 99 loss for him and it's 99 win for Hugo. Back to back for the Canadian. Uh, we're in the final downhill before reaching Payson and got back. Yes. Guess he left for a bit. Maybe, I don't know, to go summer holidays. Can God go on holiday? I, I don't know. He probably can. Five weeks paid holidays, I guess. Well, paid holidays or not, we're going to see a first winner or a first different winner on this tour of Utah. It's going to be Asvolt that takes the stage and the GC by the same occasion. Um, it, it, yeah, they yeah, just wanted a breakaway. Congrats. Final four kilometers today. Uh, let's try to get Hugo in the wheel of Rafael Parizella. Get in. Nice. Um, been a bit of a difficult stage. Everyone tried to attack uh, in the, the, the wall looking thing here. Um, but we held on. We held on and Hugo may not get the stage today. I think that might be for, uh, for Van Uden. Yeah, it's probably going to be for Van Uden, but we can take P2. And with that, we're going to go close up in the GC as well. Uh, not too bad with, I think, two stages left. It'll be difficult because the Queen stage is upon us. It's a zero for Hugo. It's a plus two for Nicolas Rivard. Uh, but mainly it's, it's a race with Simon Carr, Igor Arrieta, Filippo Zana, somehow the seven cheek mountain. And yeah, just don't have that level. Is there a time trial after that? No, there's another mountain stage. Oh, we're fucked. At least we've got two stage wins. Yeah, we'll take them. You're, you're just taking the piss. Crash for Hugo and for Nicolas Riva. Uh, Pruner, you're going to stop pacing immediately. The good thing for us is that Zana also crashed, I think, right? Oh, no, it's, it's Sean Quinn that crashed. Is that good for me? Oh, we know, because now Bargiani paces. Oh, all the pricks. Uh, well, Primer and Christian are going to wait for a goal. Riva is going to go 99. And we're going to try and come back. Somehow. Some way. Yeah, no, we're, we're not going to come back. We're not going to come back. It's a shame. It's a shame. Um, I just... I mean, I wouldn't have won, that's for sure. I would have liked to not crash. Georg Steinhauser wins ahead of Simon Carr. I'm glad that Bardani loses and gets 5th and 6th. Because they don't deserve to win. They, they've paced when I've crashed. And sure, if I do it, it's fine. If the others do it, then it's not. I tried to send a new, um, Hugo in the break. Didn't work. I mean, there was 3 riders for my team. Never got more than 3 minutes and we lost 5... No. <laughs> Never... <laughs> Three K left in the Empire Pass. Uh, we sent Hugo in the breakaway. That's why he's got no energy. Um, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. It's a shame. It's a shame. I, I had hoped that maybe Hugo could do something, but clearly the answer is no. But Hugo's going to show resilience, and he's going to be back in the first group. What a lad. What a lad. He's done 170 kilometers? No, maybe not. 120k in the break, and he's still there. In the final few kilometers, trying to chase down Matthew Ricciatello. Go on, Hugo. Go get him. Go get him. 1.5k. There's a green jersey to go and grab as well. Sure, there's a state win. There's no GC ambitions anymore. Allez, Mathieu. Mathieu? No. Allez, Hugo. Mathieu is not the guy I want to support. Hugo? He's gonna die right before the line. No! Fuck. Matthew dies on the line, it's gonna be... Ah, uh, no, Hugo dies on the line again, it's P4 for fuck's sake. One key thing before we wrap up the episode, uh, our sponsor renewal. Despite an interesting offers from Sykes, Bank and Vodafone, uh, we are going to extend with Cervelo. Not a lot about changing sponsors, but the budget offered in the 2024 season seems remarkable, so we're gonna go with them. And with that, the end of this episode, a bit of a shorter one, I think. Um, but I'm probably going to play Burgos and Norway on my own so that we can start with the Vuelta for the next episode. Transfer-wise, as I said, I'm going to do them on my own. I'm not going to see anything. Uh, I'll try and like remove any kind of email. Uh, but it should be a good window. I want proper momentum. And I can tell you so far, we will be in World Tour next year. Even if the game doesn't want me to be in World Tour, I will put myself in World Tour. So yeah, I hope you're uh, eager to see those future episodes. If you want to see them, then do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. 
Leave a like down below as well. Uh, you can watch the Vuelta playthrough if you're bored. Uh, it takes like five minutes per day. And I'll catch you very, very soon for the next episode of the Seven Test Team Career Mode. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, girl, and don't you ever let Pass me it the go. funk. We're getting drunk in here, and what comes next?